All right, thank you, Lauren. We cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes on CBS 2 News this morning. We've also been making fun of Nate for getting his uh, suit jacket at home yeah. every 10 minutes this morning. <laughs> what else can you ask for, people? It's Thursday. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. You do have a jacket, though. And it looks great. The, the, oh, the one. leather one. The leather one. Oh, the leather leather one. Don't go anywhere. Get the leather one. Get Don't the leather go one. anywhere. Oh, okay. I guess this is also, my, oh my, my gosh, this is also reminding me of a, the Friends episode where Ross puts on leather pants. This is not the same. <laughs> leather pants and a leather jacket, they're completely different. I think <laughs> the leather jacket looks nice. It is. Nate comes upstairs wearing like his leather old. jacket this morning, and I was like, where are you going, motorcycle <laughs> All right. man? Like, All right, young right. fella, let me help you out here. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it in the leather jacket. Hold on. Okay, so this happens to be my coat that I wear, yes. On so the drive into work. It on looks the drive into good. Work. Yeah. So I do have one coat. I got this one. I left my uh, suit coat. And you yeah, look I like have... a pilot. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a compliment. That is a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do, do you have your license? Nope. Can you nope. take me to the Bahamas? I sure don't. I sure don't. I was thinking about Roland on, on this show. Trip to, trip to Paris. Trip Bring to me back Paris. something French. Yeah. should talk to Roland the evening. Do planes have four-wheel drive? Does this have a phalange? They could gas mileage. Do they have phalanges? There's no phalange on this plane if you've seen Friends in episode. So... All right, let's talk about some weather out there uh, as well this morning. So temperatures, yeah, we're still cold out there. The temperatures near 20 degrees. In fact, 19 reported right now in Boise. North, northeast winds at 5 miles an hour, uh, making it feel like 12. So uh, certainly a chilly one out there and uh, not too breezy, a little windier up near Mountain Home. So we are seeing some single digit wind chills out there uh, for that location. The change is happening though with the pattern as we move towards the weekend. So we are going to see some dry weather for the most part through Saturday. Rain and snow though is expected by Sunday. So that's going to be the bigger change you're going to be noticing. But I think all of us will feel the change with the temperatures out there getting up uh, above average. So periods of rain next week with the continuation of storms lined up to move into the area and then warmer temperatures as we talk talked about uh, that are on the way. So here's that gradual warm up. We're going to go from freezing yesterday to 36 today. So should feel pretty nice out there, although we'll see the cloud cover, so it might not feel necessarily much warmer. 40 degrees on Friday. Normal high is 36 degrees, 43 on Saturday and on Sunday. Notice that uh, the next chance of seeing weather, it looks like it's just right at our doorstep, but with the jet stream still positioned uh, coming in from the north or the southwest, excuse me, it's going to keep all that moisture to the north and west of us. So areas like Washington, of course, and Oregon are going to see quite a bit of rain as this system moves inland. Uh, you can see that swath of moisture, trail of moisture moving in all the way from the subtropics. Uh, the next storm system that will likely impact us, though, is still off uh, in Central Pacific. So as we put future cast into motion, you can see all that moisture still staying to the north and west of us. As a front approaches, it weakens as it moves inland. The actual storm system that's going to impact us is going to move in from the south and west. So that'll move into Central and Northern California as we head into early on Saturday. By Saturday afternoon, we'll start to see that southerly flow in place, some cloud cover and some showers arriving by late Saturday for the mountain locations with warmer temperatures though just a rain snow mix if not all rain showers expected for here in the valley on Sunday. Uh, yeah temperatures look pretty nice next week as well staying above our average high of 36 in fact almost 10 degrees above average on Tuesday with 46 degrees expected a uh, chance of some rain showers for here in the valley slight chance on Wednesday as well in fact some models indicating that the latter half of the week could continue this active weather pattern with a chance of showers nearly every day next week. Mountain forecast looking pretty good, partly cloudy to mostly uh, cloudy skies as we head into today and tomorrow. Slight chance of some snow late on Saturday. Then we have that chance of some snow most days uh, beginning early next week into the middle of next week. Uh, in fact, with some warmer temperatures possible on Tuesday, could see a bit of a rain snow mix at the mountain valley floors, but still snow higher up, which is where we want it. Ryan, I guess you're not a fan of the leather jacket. No. I think it looks I think it looks, I, it looks good. good. Yeah, it no. just looks old. I look, I look older maybe. The That's what we've been trying. You, you've been trying too to immature. Yeah. You're the too immature old. person on the All set. Right. Yeah, we, we can't figure it out. All right, thank you very much, Nate.